Welcome Taurus. Happy birthdays to you Taurus that is born from um, the 4th until the 10th of uh, um, May. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for supporting my channel. Tauruses, you rock. I swear, Tauruses, you are so powerful, Tauruses. I want to say to all of you, Tauruses, whatever is going on, um, don't worry. Life is full of surprises, okay? And I see that a lot of you are going to be very much surprised at what has been transpiring and happening. So, Tauruses, it's going to be a year. This year is the year of the moon for you guys. So, if you were born between 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of May, it is the year of the moon. So, 4 to 10 is the year of the moon. So this is the energy that you're working with in this year. This is all about secrecy. This is all about your enemies. People are trying to um, connect with you, but they can't reach you because of certain aspect that is transpiring. This is about your intuition. This is about things um, that is supposed to transpire. This is about you learning who you are. You seeing things and people around you and understanding who you are and what is transpired. So, um, Taurus is you're in for a run this year because you're going to be finding out people, things, and situations that uh, was um, uncomfortable, things that you weren't aware of, things that has affected your life that you weren't aware of. It's as if this year is going to be a year of revealing truths and secrets that was happening and transpiring so um whatever is happening and transpiring i see you tauruses are going to be in for a run in your life however this is happening and transpiring because i see that a lot of things and a lot of changes is going to be coming up for you guys okay so all right let's look and see what is going to be transpiring okay because this energy of the moon um for some of you is going to be your intuition is going to be very high for some of you it's going to be uh information is going to be coming out that you were not aware of for some of you it's going to be that you're going to be realizing a lot of things that you weren't seeing clearly it's going to be cleared up so this year um for you guys is going to be a year of a lot of surprises so be aware of that all right we are going to be um going into readings okay so we're going to give taurus a little shuffle here okay because you are the birthday peoples remember to go out and check out your weekly readings also but not only that you gotta also check out the monthly readings it is all up i'm sorry i'm going to be a little bit later this month but i'm I have a lot to do with stacks time, so um, I have a lot to do and I have a lot to finish up, okay? All right, Taurus, let's go in and we're going to be seen. Remember, use the time link below in order to access your personal date. So this um, birthday reading is from the 4 until the 10, okay, Taurus? Is, so let's check out what is going on. So we have justice. And this is um, beautiful for the person who was born on the fort. We see secrets coming out. Okay. We see transition is going to be coming up. And this is the general energy for everyone. A transition with people in power is going to be coming up. Okay. So however that is transpired, transition with people in power. Then we see the energy of the magician that people are going to be seeing exactly what has happened and what has transpired. So it is a year of revelation for you guys. So that is going to be the meaning of your year is a rare year of revelation. Four, six, seven, seven. So be aware of this. Um, whenever a year come up, um, it has the moon. So of course you would expect 
the secrecy so it's going to be a year of revelation a tower moment is coming down a tower moment is going to be coming down Alrighty, so you end up with the energy of the moon so trust me their secrecy secrecy is going to be coming out and whatever is transpiring there's a lot of secrecy secrecy that was old a lot of secrecy was old and some deceptive situation that was going on secrecy is going to be coming down okay so here we see the energies um that is coming up so let's move along and see what is going to be um, affecting you with these energies okay because um, a lot is happening it may look a little bit dark and the light might um, begin to flash away okay all right universal angels and guides for the Taurus. Mm -hmm. okay so let's see and i'm going to do um you guys one by one okay um we're going to be doing you guys one by one so that you can remember what is going to be transpiring and what is going to be coming out uh, um, for you, Tauruses? I see all art breaks for a corporation institution. Art breaks is coming out for the people who were born on finger. I see um, messages coming in. Right, There's a lot that is going on here, my darlings. Um, and I'm using these cards because I just feel as if, ooh, that is good tower moment. Wow. Okay. All right. Okay. So I see a lot of you are going to be having some worries. Whatever is happening in Transpire, a lot of you this year is going to bring in a lot of worries and this is understandable because of the issues and situation that is transpiring around you um a lot of worries is going to be there but you're going to be overcoming it okay so don't worry all right so let's go in i'm going to put the lights on because the um because um it's kind of uh um here it's very dark it has been raining for a couple of days okay all right so it's a um, beautiful spread except for some some of you are going to be having um some issues so um we're going to be taking a look at that as we get to this point i love this deck this is one of the most beautiful deck so first um let's go in and look for the people who were born on the 4th of May, you're dealing with the moon and justice. What that is saying for you is that in this year, whoever that was blocking your way and was uh, um, working against you, whatever they were doing, whatever um, they were trying to do to block you, keep you in bondage and not letting you move forward, keeping you down in the coal, um, um, it is going to be over, okay? It is going to be over. All right, it is going to be over um, because justice is coming in and seeing the truths of what has been transpired, definitely, um, because some of you, it can be balanced. It doesn't have to be a legal thing. Um, it can be balanced. However, this is happening in transpiring. It can be balanced for some of you. But whatever the issue and the situation is and was, I see that uh, a decision is going to be made because some of you were treated unfair and injustice. Okay, so it can be honesty, um, honesty, um, situation that was transpiring, that was happening, injustice that has transpired. However, this is I see that justice is going to be coming in and bringing in balance in some issues and situation that was transpiring. So for you guys who were born, born on the, the fort, I see, um, you know, um, peace is going to be here 
um, because what is transpiring and what is happening is that uh, the universe is bringing um, is stepping in and whenever the universe is stepping in and bringing balance that is um, really really wonderful because what is transpiring is that all the secrecy all the things that you weren't aware of is going to be out so what do we have for the hardship I see that some of you ladies um, are going to be or some of you it doesn't has to be a lady this is a general card it's just the, the um, energy is a um, the person on the card is a woman but this is, has to do with worries and this is what I said a lot of you are going to be having worries and I see a lot of worries and it's as if you have a, a so it says you know when is this going to be over I see they have to make a decision they're going to be making a decision about something so you people who were born on the 4th of May I see if you have legal issues or that sort of a thing I see a decision will be made and people will be seeing um, very much so what has been happening and what has been transpiring okay so whoever is worried because this is coming up as being very worried over an issue and a situation whatever that has been transpiring is that some of you are being very worried over an issue and a situation and I see that there is no reason um, to be worried is you have to ask and let go of things okay when it comes up to love I see um, a lot of you in love is going to be making healthy choices in relationships and I gotta I gotta I, I can't see this I hope you guys can see this some of you are going to be making healthy choices in relationship in this year however this is transpiring if you don't have any relationships is that you're going to be making healthy choices with yourself okay so um, whatever is transpiring I see you're going to be making the changes in your life however this is going to be coming up and transpire you're definitely going to be making the changes in your life let's see what is happening for the people who are born on May 4th um, what is going to be affecting their lives and how is this going to be happening it is going to be a year of revelation okay so let's uh, let's look what is uh, happening here oh boy ladies and gentlemen okay so you have Uranus and the moon um, for Andrik. so Uranus and the moon that means a lot is happening and a lot is going to be transpiring in this year and changes but changes for a much better and a much healthier way of doing things being with people accessing things however this is coming up however this is transpiring okay so I really love this because it is wonderful and your last message is that a lot of money is going to be coming in so if some of you have some legal issues whatever the legal issues is or some unjust things that has transpired and happened to you I see a lot of money is going to be paid out to you a whole lot of money is going to be paid out to you okay so that is a good one all right so um, 1329 we're moving on to the high princess um, the 5th of May if you were born on the 5th of May this together the eye princess and the moon is going to be shifting you in a psychic so you're going to be start being very psychic um, receiving messages your intuition is going to be very very high in this year because you're going to be understanding information is going to be coming out you're going to be understanding things um, spiritual things and that sort of a thing it is going to be wonderful it's going to be powerful it's going to be good because what is happening and what is transpiring is that the universe is going to be opening a door for you in order to connect in a higher level a higher conscious level and this is going to be opening awareness for you so this is going to be good because it's going to be helping you in order to give you a new start okay so this is good because it's going to be it's as if your deity your deities are coming in via the psychic and your spirit guides people who have passed away um, your soul family uh, your ascension ascendance family is going to be helping you and pushing you and giving you a new start so this psychic of this intuition feelings that is going to be coming in is going to be absolutely wonderful 
it is going to be coming in like a whole lot of information that is going to be helping you to create a better world for you and this world is going to be helping you to change things and situation in your life that is going to be creating positive balance in your world if you have a business if you want to start a business this is a good year and normally the eye princess is not a yes but in this case it is a yes if you want to start a new business because you see that a successful it will be a very very successful business and this is going to be creating a lot of wealth for you guys okay so it is a year where is as if if you didn't believe in the spiritual i see um you're going to start in this year because you have the moon and the eye princess so um that is very very wonderful the other two messages that comes with a new start is that you're going to be receiving a message and i see a lot of information is going to be coming in for you guys so this is wonderful and this is good but the new start i see someone bringing in a message for some of you and i see a lot of opportunities is going to be um opening up for a whole lot of you guys if you choose to create or if you choose um to change your life in a way it's going to be happening just like magic it's just going to be coming in and happening because here it is that a new start is going to be given to you people that was born on the fifth of uh, on the fifth of um <laughs> the fifth of may so what we're basically seeing here in the experiences that is transpiring for you people that was born on the fifth is as if you suddenly see the truth you're suddenly everything is open everything is clear you're suddenly understanding what is happening and transpiring and i see so many messages because there is a, a new start some information is going to be coming in to give some of you a new start and i see multiple opportunities multiple doors information um it's going to be a fast speeding year for you guys okay because everyone vibrates in a different frequency you're in a collective reading but your frequency is going to be um much faster okay and then what is coming up in love for you guys i see healing hearts okay so some of you are going to be healing the hearts i see um some of you are going to be freeing yourself from toxic relationships and that is going to be good and i see relationships or addiction you're going to be healing that so that is wonderful and that is good so however this is happening and transpiring in your world it's going to be absolutely absolutely beautiful let's see what is going to be affecting you pluto and um pluto and the moon um there is fascination a lot of you are going to be fascinated by what is transpiring because this is airful um revelations is coming out truths are coming out you're going to be fascinated about a lot of things um this is going to be good it's going to be a year where you see um the pluto and the moon um pluto that's secrets uh, that is coming out and the moon so this again is letting you guys know that it's born on the fifth that there is about a lot that is going to be transpiring for you okay all righty let's move on to the people 1838 and i know your last mess whoop the daisy oopsie daisy your last message is that this is going to be a are a successful successful year for the people who were born on the fifth congratulations you have the energy of the sun and this is what i was saying because you could see success on there because i was really seeing hey this is going to be a successful year for you people who were born on the fifth because there was so much things that was showing that is new start new opportunities new door is going to be opening i love you guys um, your numbers is going to be um, 2, um, 1, and 8. 2, 1, and 8. 2, 1, and 8. And you have 31 and 4. Alrighty. So we're moving on to the people who were born on the 6th. People who were born on the 6th is a year as of transition, but it's a year of positive, positive transition. Good news. Hello. Hello, dear, my darlings. All right. And to top it off, ladies and gentlemen, 
<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, so congratulations and happy birthday to the people who were born on May 6th. This year is going to be an absolutely, absolutely fabulous um, transition is coming in. Good news is coming in. Money is going to be coming in. This is going to be absolutely, absolutely fabulous because of uh, unexpected. This is like the year where your financial stability is going to be starting and giving you a brand new push in a way. So transition is coming in where it's bringing positive news. Some of you were hoping and wishing for some good news and hoping and wishing for something to be over, hoping and wishing for a new start. However, this is transpiring and this is going to be good. Money is here, the nine of pentacles. So this year you guys are going to be making a lot, a lot of money. Okay. So this is going to be good. Some good news is about to come in. That is going to be bringing you some positive transition when it comes on to money. Congratulations. Okay. So um, that that and the tower card is not bad and a lot of people are not aware of this because when people see oh god I have the energy of that yes that to things that was holding you back things that was um, being obstacle in your way okay so you're moving those obstacles those obstacles are going to be moving out of your way and as the year progress you're going to be seeing that some positive alignment of news is going to be coming in and money you're you have the 10 of pentacles financial stability is going to be coming in so this is going to be good so some good news that is going to bring in oh my god money 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 okay i can't news about money is coming in all right cards don't lie i always tell people the cards don't lie and this works along with this so good news about money is going to be coming in for you guys okay good news about money is going to be coming in and with the nine or the ten of pentacles i see um service so some of you whatever your business is because it comes up with service some of you who works in the civil service could be getting extra pay some of you um, um money could be coming in that is going to be helping you um with the shutdown and all of that so unexpected if you give service to humanity it's going to be creating a lot of financial stability for you and that is what is going to bring it in this nine of pentacles so it is a wonderful year for the people who were born on may 6 please come back and uh, check out these readings um because um these readings um and this is why i advise people do a birthday reading buy yourself a birthday reading 75 um 75 dollars because the birthday readings is personally built around you okay and the universe show you what exactly is transpiring for you so take a birthday reading because that's like a reading that is um about an hour and a half and it gives you bowl by bowl so that you can understand your world and what is transpiring um no other person does that <laughs> i just give people what they pay for who ascending so in love your relationship are going to ascend in all obstacles you're going to be learning to expand in yourself new faces are going to be coming in in relationship preparing for a union some of you could be also um getting um engaged in order to get married i see children are going to be born for you this is also positive when the higher self is ascending that means you're transit they're transiting from out of negativity um to positivity if you were trying to re um, receive a kid or, or or you know having issues with having a child is going to be good um this is going to be good this is about new start okay a baby is always about new start uh, if you are not wanting to have a baby or that sort of a thing so be aware and this is going to be a fabulous year for you guys the people who are born on the six now your number is 13 which is four six and ten 10 is 1 and 0. So 
congratulations again and your last message is that a new start is definitely going to be coming up some of you are going to be creating a new world for yourself some of you are going to be buying new houses new business that sort of a thing some of you could be um, um relocating positive energy positive alignment of energy for you guys so this is going to be fab 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 alrighty um your next number is 20 and it's two alrighty so 25 22 sorry I'm saying the numbers because <laughs> um happy birthday to the people who were born on the 7th of May all right um what is here I see um some of you could be had a had had some heartbreaks with people in power okay and you walk away some of you have some heartbreaks with people in power and you have turned your back and walked away um it is a situation that is going to be coming up okay some of you you could have a boss that is a liberal and this person has done you some injustice or it could have been people in power who have done some injustice their secrets are going to be coming out in this year and truths are going to be um, coming out so um wow may seven people this is going to be an unbelievable year because someone who has used their power of, is going to be breaking your heart but their secrets is going to be coming out but because um people have used their power against you and whatever they have done now is a time where their secrets is going to be coming out truths are going to be coming out and the secrets about what these people have done so um whoever has used their powers um truths are going to be coming out and what we're seeing transpiring here is that it could be a boss it could be a husband or a wife or it could be some deceptive play that has happened and has transpired and people had eyed the truth it's now coming out because it is in it falls in the year of the moon and that is secrecy and it's going to be coming out and i see that um secrecy um you were heartbroken a friend some of you a friend has broken your heart in the past and this has to do with um, a friend at work or a friend that has used their powers above you and have hurt you in so many ways which is unexplainable whoever this friend is um, you were heartbroken in the past by this friend okay or you are going to be heartbroken um in this month by this friend because it's a friend is going to um it's a three of swords and it has to do with a friend so this friend could be a friend in business or a friend on the work floor or a friend that you thought someone was a friend and they threw you under the bus and it has to do that the person has used their powers over you i see you turn your back on a friend and i see this friend is going to be coming back to you offering you an apology um I see peace I see that someone is going to be coming in I see a lot of things I see a lot of you are just going to be turning your backs and walking away and I see after you make the decision turn your back and walking away whether from a relationship a job whatever situation with a family however this is turns out then friendship I see they're going to be whoever you turn your back and walk away from in this year they're going to be returning to you and apologizing to you for something that they have done now you got to be aware of this because I think one time twice three times it's um for me it's it's okay um the lesson is now learned so it depends on who you are and whatever is transpiring some of you this could be a Pisces person who have done you some real injustice and I see um they're going to be coming back to you to ask for an apology um, and they want peace between you and them some of you is a is is it's a is a is a cancer or a scorpion all right because I see you turn your back on this person and you have left move forward so however this is coming up this is coming up as some emotional situation where a friend or someone it could be a family member that has done you some real injustice this is a year where you're going to be 
things that was not aware is going to be coming out so so I see some of you dealing with a runner and I see that in relationship um, you're dealing with someone this one this person doesn't want to um, be bounded with you okay the runner okay they don't want to be bounded with you the runner is in a codependent relationship fear of intimacy okay listening to the ego so some of you could be this could be you but I'm seeing this coming up as people that you're in relationships with and I think that's 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 some of the reason why some of you are going to be heartbroken because you're going to be realizing that this person do not want to be with me basically um and uh, um you know it, it 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 is going to be um heartbreaking but uh, you're going to be turning your back on this person and just you know let them them fall on their you know whenever people do these deceptive things to other people um you you are going to be transcending from this deceptiveness definitely you're going to be transcending from this deceptiveness okay i see that a um capricorn and a cancer could be coming in to help some of you or some of you could be falling in love with a capricorn or a cancer or some of you could be finding out that a capricorn or a cancer is the runner okay that they don't want to be um you know tied down in a relationship um it can be a capricorn or it can be a cancer okay they're you know they want their freedom however this is coming up and however this is transpiring so um be aware of this you will have these people and again saturn 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 and mars is coming up saturn and mars is coming up someone had the baby saturn and mars is coming up okay so you're dealing with saturn cancer saturn and the moon so there's secrecy saturn uh saturn is going to be bringing out secrecy about relationship and things that you weren't aware of so be aware of this however this is happening and transpiring Alrighty, so let's um look at this we have four we have three that is seven and we have eight so unexpectedly in work and business i see that that's going to be okay because there's infinity um you're creating infinity abundancy i see a block is set on um someone in power whoever this person is that has used their power so um for you guys that is born on the seventh someone who has overgone their power and used their power against you i see a block is set on this person whoever this person is whatever that was transpiring i see a block is set on this the emperor um is the energy of someone it can be a father figure for some of you but this is coming up as a business partner or a business person because they're now blocked because of what they have done okay um because this person is going to be creating a lot of issue and the emperor comes up as father figure so some of you could be having some issues with father figure number 21 which is three is happening for you guys in this year so we're moving on we are moving on all righty so 3347 um um people who are born on the 8th of may you have the energy of the magician it's a yes year it's a year of you know doing whatever you were thinking about doing um getting things done it's a year where yes go ahead get it done you, you are going to be okay um, it's a year where a, a lot of things is going to be transpiring. It's a year that you're going to be finding out that you have all it needs uh, um, to move forward. It's a year that is as if information situations is just going to be falling um, on you and it's going to be bringing in a new start. So this is absolutely wonderful and good. If you were trying to um, get pregnant and you couldn't, this is a year that it could happen for you magician is here and whenever the magician is here and guiding you and protecting you in a year a lot can happen your wishes and dreams is as if uh, 
um, this energy of the magician is always always uh, uh, all that you wish is and dream is going to be coming up so if you wanted a new start in a relationship uh, uh, some new start a relocation um, anything that you need what has to do with new starts it is all here for you guys and it's as if it's going to be magically happening for you guys so some of you um are dealing with new starts in a business okay so um some of you is as if your business had gotten hit um a couple months or the months coming in this year um i see that you're going to be either um doing part-time and trying to find um something so i see you want multiple incomes okay because if you notice this is in the reverse so it's as if some of you your business if you have your business has gotten a hit or your financial uh, has gotten a hit so for you guys that was born on the eight magician is going to be coming in um to help you out of uh, um this situation to bring you fit um back on the financial um, um stability okay so it is a year of uh, in increase of financial stability whatever that has happened and whatever that has transpired it is a year of financial stability that is going to be coming up where there is going to be a lot of transition that is taking place and that is coming up so this is going to be good so it's a positive year for you guys because it's good all around um you're going to be focusing on your financial stability it's a year of yes for you guys so go ahead with whatever you want new start you want to do go ahead because it's a year of yes you have the magician number one um another number one so duality a lot of you are going to be working on duality in order to bring back financial stability in your world duality and this is going to be good because I see um, that you are opening up and moving forward in a very, very positive direction. So um, duality, one and 11, you have one and 11, three times one. So it's, 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 it's like the universe is screaming out to you. Here it is. Here it is. I'm giving you the new start. You have the magician. You have a new start. You have uh, the night of uh, Pentacles, stop looking at the past, look at the future, create a new future, and this is going to be wonderful for you guys. So, with a new start, I see that some of you who weren't feeling well and was in nostalgia unexpectedly, I see help is going to be coming in for you. Some of you who were like off the grid, um, really, um, so off and you are going to be um regaining stability okay regaining stability because um you guys have been going through a lot and now you're going to be regaining stability okay and this is why i say to a lot of people um it's good to really do a birthday reading i see that some of you are dealing with a young a taurus virgo or um, Capricorn person that in this year you could find out that they could be imprisoned whatever is happening and whatever is transpiring whoever this young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person um, let's hope that it's not your child this person could be imprisoned whatever they have done whatever injusticeness and this is a person this is um, really going to be happening to a, a person a child someone but whoever this person is they're going to be in prison for something that and they they did do it some of you um i know it's hard but um they whatever they did they did do it and it's a young person okay or it could be that you are going to be in prison for something that you have done to this young person so however on the other end some of you are in your heads you're in your heads because this is your own energies you young men could find yourself in some serious trouble or you young people between the age of 18 and, and 45 could find yourself in some serious serious um situation so be aware of what you are doing in this year because the possibility does exist you're working on duality whenever you're working on duality it's three times one be aware 
in love um, coffee cup meeting um, and having conversation um, serving the moment feeling uplifted and a lot of friendship so you're going to be creating a lot of friendship this is going to be wonderful it is going to be good positive alignment of energy is going to be coming up when it comes down to friendship so um saturn and uh and um, uh, mercury saturn and uh yeah saturn and mercury is in your energy you got to be aware um it's like a sense of reality whatever is transpiring and whatever is coming back is a sense of reality okay saturn and mercury so some of you could be meeting some um capricorns and some of you could meet in some virgos yes these are good friends for you tauruses so i see the capricorn and the virgos is going to be coming in and these are the people who are going to be elevating your energies and your life some of some people can deal with um these are earth signs you are all earth signs they're going to be coming in to help you guys out okay wow beautiful and your last message is there's going to be a new contract that is going to be coming up for you whatever is transpiring some of you are going to be getting married and some of you are going to be having new contract whether in business or in love okay so new contract so some of you could be receiving a new offer of a job some of you could be um offered the ends of marriage um however this is coming up for you i see that this is here in your energy so um a new contract yeah so um for the people who are born under eight you have three times one 111 and you have 25 25 is seven you're on the right way forward okay so um very very wonderful so congratulations again for the 154 and moving on um to the people who were born the 9th of may and you're dealing with the energy of the lovers so a lot of uh situation um that is going to be transpiring with um um family um marriage um twin flame soulmate relationship married family um all of this is going to be happening and transpiring new love is going to be coming in a lot of you could be getting married or at the ends of marriage in this year remember that this year begins the day after your birthday until the day before your birthday in 2021 that is your zodiac year so again this is going to be powerful it's all about love it's all about connecting with a family it's all about having successful marriages successful relationship with your twin fame soulmate however this is happening and transpiring this is absolutely fabulous because what we are seeing here is that we are seeing some new strong stability that is going to be coming in and happening for you guys be aware of these transit that is transpiring because this is going to be good it's all about love this year and instead of all about conquering and overcoming relationship love relationship and making it and looking forward and yay 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 you have the nine of cups fabulous 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 um congratulations your wishes and dreams in relationships and in business and marriages is going to be coming out this is absolutely fabulous this is absolutely fabulous whatever is happening and transpiring absolutely fabulous this is good however this is happening and transpiring you see um the energies are, are are really high um high vibrational energies of happiness and joy and love um that is going to be coming in for you guys it's as if uh, secret lovers are going to become your long-term partners happy 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 um if you notice you were born on the 9th of may the nine of cups so i see new beginnings in a relationship transition if you are alone you're going to be transitioning in a positive loving relationship your wishes and dreams is definitely going to be coming through a lot of you are going to be very very successful okay so let's see what else is coming up the three of ones I see a new start you're going to be successfully overcoming a situation with either a business a company or a house 
some of you is a business some of your company some of your house and I see you are going to be victoriously overcoming and seeing and receiving um, what you some of you are going to be unexpectedly receiving a house or news that a house that was either stolen or taken away and in, in a return of a house I see happiness and joy I see some of you could be um, creating your business and explore your business is going to be exploring but this has to do with some of you could even buy a hotel some of you who had a small bed and breakfast is going to be moving into a huge one some of you are going to be going in and looking at bed and breakfast and that sort of a thing some of you are just going to be packing up your stuff and moving to another place another city and creating these bed and breakfast in order to um you know touch people because especially um business people entrepreneur i see your business is going to be taken off and it's going to be huge okay and this is going to be wonderful business and anything to do with business is going to be i see people are moving forward i see happiness and joy i see um your journey but you're journeying to some place where your that is where your happiness and joy is okay so it's like you could be going yeah and this is what i said some people are just going to be packing up and then moving to some place else and opening up a bed and breakfast and you're that is where your heart that is where you everything that you're looking for that is where it is so this is going to be absolutely positive absolutely good because whatever the issues and the situation is that has been happening and transpiring you are going to be and it could be that some of you are journeying someplace but some of you could meet someone um that has journeyed to you and that person is going to be helping you to create um, your happiness and joy okay and giving you um, um, your wishes and dreams and this is going to be good so it's um absolutely positive now in love it's not that fascinated but um, it has to do with whatever Sabbatarian relationship um, and jealousy and that sort of a thing you're going to be overcoming it in this year and this is going to be good okay and then we have um, Venus and uh, um, a lot of you are dealing with love relationship with the cancers, the energy of the cancers. If you notice, the cancers are all over the place. A lot of you are going to be connecting with the cancers. And whatever these uh, situation is, I see some of you could be getting married to cancers. Some of you could be divorcing cancers, okay? Because this is... a like a divorce and remember that this year is all about love so some of you could be divorcing cancers um however this is transpiring this is a year of love and this is going to be good whatever bad issues in relationship that you have had it's going to be ending okay it's definitely going to be ending and what we have here is that I see multiple opportunities, multiple doors of opportunities is going to be opening for you guys. So this is absolutely good because you have nine, you have three, and ooh, six, nine, and three. Three, six, and nine, and 22. We never break down double numbers. So here it is, multiple opportunity in love, whatever it is that you... um wants to achieve wants to open up doors to however this is transpiring i see that there is going to be multiple opportunities for the people who were born on the 9th of may this is going to be absolutely fab 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 and yet fab all righty i'm leaving you guys and we are moving on 48 49 48 50 okay so people who were born on the tent i see a tower moment is coming down for the knight of swords okay so people who were born on the tent whatever is happening and transpiring i see a tower moment this is changes whatever is transpiring this is definitely changes whatever that was um affecting your life whoever was standing in your way whoever was affecting your life and you moving forward whatever the issues whatever the obstacles whatever it is right after your birthday going right back until the day before your birthday 2021 this is going to be release 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 okay so i see communication i see unexpected information and communication 
unexpected information communication is going to be at key this is very important for you guys in the year whatever the issue and the situation is unexpected communication and whatever is transpiring in this year has to do with commission communication is going to be the key and I see some of you have communicate very clearly in order to um, bring down a, the negative lies and negative situation that has been transpiring and here you're going to be successfully overcoming the deceptiveness of some um, illusion that was created in your world so this is the year is the year where you're standing your grounds you're standing your grounds and I see you're going to be receiving the help of uh, the source of all things the universe in order to bring down whatever that was in, in um, blocking your way you're decluttering your life by standing your ground and moving things and people and situation congratulations so um we have a tower moment and this is good this is clearing all blockages and whatever destructive situation that was holding you back you are blazing and communicating clearly and moving these issues and situation um and i see um some sadness is going to be coming up um, for if you're dealing with um, some information that you could be um, bringing out some information that is going to bring sadness to a lot of people or you could be finding out some information that is going to bring a lot of sadness if you're dealing with an Aquarian Gemini or Libra I see that this person is very saddened by a issue and a situation however this is transpiring so I see if you are in a relationship I see an end could be coming to this um, person or a situation because I see you stand your ground and you're going to be um, communicating very clearly I see you have stand your ground and you create you um, communicate very clearly and I see um, that you um, are going to be overcoming whatever the issue and the situation is I see love is going to be good for some of you I see you're going to be successfully overcoming whatever um, issues and situation in a relationship but also in your life that others have created you're going to be successfully overcoming this this is you being really successful the energy of the lover with the three of cups is absolutely absolutely beautiful energy that is transpiring so I see whoever that was black via you know people create obstacles and people are not aware that the other people's thoughts are so powerful that can and 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 there were people who were um keeping you you know and you could be also the person that has been in your thought creating um this 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 sort of a thought pattern in order to create you i see you're going to be breaking through and releasing you and releasing yourself from this sort of a torque pattern so I see you have 16 which is seven and three that you're dealing with love is uh, um, let's look at love Ooh, love is the golden mirror this is good it's about self absorbed narcissist one-sided relationship love bomb <laughs> All right, so you're going to be going through all of these sort of a things. Not all of you, some of you. Some of you could be ending these sort of a things in relationship, and this is going to be absolutely, absolutely fabulous. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is like, um, for some of you, this is like so powerful because I'm now an hour, so this is like a reading that I'm given. Um, um mars and yeah there is going to be um a lot of you uh, meeting new people um this is going to be good it is so right a lot of you a lot of people are going to be falling in love with you a lot of you are going to be conquering others um this is so good um on mutin so it's all about you meeting new people all right so mars and venus is here so be aware of that so congratulations um let me see what is going to be your last energy peace is going to be coming in so whoever out there uh, this is the energy of the tower the tower remove whatever that was blocking you guys who were born on the tent 
And what it did is to raise your energy and remove destructiveness, obstacles and blockages. And you're coming out very good. Ladies and gentlemen, it is an hour. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. I gotta go. Let me know how it goes. Namaste.